Hello there, I am Giant Girl with my Pokemon Yellow. In the last part, we took on the Safari Zone. It took us two times to go through the Safari Zone because I ran out of steps the first time. Like, right in front of the guy at the secret house who gave us, uh, who will give us the HM Zero Feather for Surf. We also got the gold teeth, returned them, returned them to the warden. He gave us the HM for, uh, for strength. We taught both Surf and Strength to Gamera. And, uh, yeah, we got some cool items. We caught, like, three new Pokemon, like, Execute, Nidorina, and, uh, a, uh, and, uh, Nidu. Nidoran, no, no, Nidoran female, I believe. So yeah, so I went to the Pokemon uh, Mart in Fuser City. I uh, sold all my Peralis heals and then bought five more full heals because uh, my bag is getting kind of cramped. I think I have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15 yeah, I think I have like 15 items and my bag could only hold like 20 items So I wanted to free up some space because I will probably only see full heals from here on out actually Just to save space just so I don't have to buy like separate like antidotes or Peralis heals I have like I can buy an item that heals any status condition like that's awesome So yeah, so now I have grumpy up front. We can take on the Fuse City Gym This is the Fuse City Pokemon Gym of course. We did Koga the poisonous ninja master. Ooh, poison type Pokemon. I don't really like poison type Pokemon, but okay. We'll take them on anyway. Okay, so Yo Champ of the Making. Fuse City is rigged, riddled with uh, invisible walls. Koga might appear close, but he is blocked off. You have to find uh, gaps in the walls to reach him. No hint on like what it put on how like, not to use grass, pure grass type Pokemon or anything like that. On poison type Pokemon, geez. Okay. For, okay, if you use the city Pokemon gym, later Koga. Winning turn is Sean. Of course Sean beats this gym. He always does. So he was a tamer, I believe. Strength isn't for it. Isn't the key for Pokemon. It's strategy. That's kind of cool. That's true, actually. I'll show you how strategy can beat brute strength. Okay. Let's battle. I have a grumpy up front, like I just said before. So yeah, he's always oh, he's a juggler. My bad. He has one Pokemon. It's a Hypno. Okay. Okay, this isn't a good matchup then, because the uh, grumpy is fighting type. So let's use Body Slam. Hopefully, you can like take it out. It's level 38. Jeez, quite nice. Let's get a Psychic on us. Jeez, it's gonna be. This is a Poison type gym. Jeez, for crying out loud, it's not a Psychic type gym. Okay, yeah. Um, grumpy just fainted there. That's great. Ah, Grumpy. No, I was. I I, I knew it kind. Of, they kind of had rousing hypno, but like, come on, still. Fine. We're gonna have to go back to the Pokemon Center and heal up actually, because Grumpy fainted. So yeah, there goes the juggler. Nice. What extraordinary! Thanks. Thanks for the one thousand three hundred thirty pocket dollars. I'll be right back, guys. I gotta heal up Grumpy. Okay, we're back, and uh, I'm gonna put Grumpy. Not a middle cast stats. Uh, Grumpy is gonna switch with uh, Tabasco, I guess. Yeah. So here's another juggler, I guess. Let's take him on. I wanted to become a ninja, so I, be so I joined this gym. Cool. You want a medal or something? <laughs> okay, here's another juggler. Cool. Here's four Pokemon. One's a drowsy. Okay, level 20. Nope, level 31, of course. Whatever. Let's go for the slash deck on this thing. Quick one, nice. I'll take it. Another drowsy. Okay, we're getting a slash on this too. Slash deck, yay. There we go, nice. Trick was about to use Kadabra. Okay, we'll use slash on the Kadabra too. This kid average level 31, that's pretty cool, I guess. Critical again, nice. Tabasco level 38, awesome. Okay, uh, drowsy, okay, we'll switch to, um, switch to, I guess, Brute Root, Lavender, and Tabasco against Drowsy. But I'll go to Tabasco, I guess. No, not Tabasco, but Grumpy, I mean, sorry. Uh, Tabasco is already out, yeah, he is, that's true. Okay, Grumpy. We're gonna hopefully we can outspeed this thing because you know Primer's pretty fast. So let's use Body Slam, and it doesn't take it out. Dang it! Okay, disable. That's not the worst thing you could have done. This Thunderbolt was disabled. Okay, we'll finish it with the Seismic Toss then. I should finish it off actually, because I'll do 37 HP because Grumpy is level 37. There we go. Nice. I'm done, kid. <laughs> I think that's what she said. Thanks for 1,085 pocket dollars. Okay, so yeah. Let's 
go to Lavender, I guess. Hopefully there's not like any Psychic type Pokemon, but there probably still is. I didn't mean to go to Charizard. I didn't mean to go to Pasco's stats. I guess so, there we go. Ooh, yeah. So it looks like half my Pokemon are level 38, half my Pokemon are level 37. I also studied the way of the ninja with Master Koga. Ninja has had a long history of using animals. Okay, yeah. That's true, actually. This is a tamer, okay. So, what does he have? He's an Oibok. Okay, an actual poison type Pokemon, yay! For once, this is the first time in the gym that that's actually happened. <laughs> yeah, let's go for the little horn attack. Because he was biting on us, okay. Let's just horn attack again. One more horn attack should faint it, but you never know. It's gonna bite on us again. Let's just horn attack again. There we go, nice. It'll just sand slash, okay. Sand slash is a ground type Pokemon though, but yeah. Let's go for the thrash. It's level 33, yeah. It's gonna scratch on us, of course. Thrashing about, yes, Lavender's thrashing about, yeah. Can hit three times. Get a scratch again on us, thrashing about, nice. And we fainted the Sandsosh, good. Another Arbok, okay, we'll switch to, um. We'll switch to, I guess, Brute Root. Oh, yeah, let's tackle though. Jeez, okay, fine. Maybe we'll switch to Grumpy, but that's okay. We got Kuko, that's good. Let's get his glare on us. Of course, it is. Ah, oh, man. Let's get his glare on us next. Jeez. Let's go for the tackle again. I think two more tackles should paint it. She has poison sting on us. Critical that's not very effective though. Four paralyzed, dang it. If we could just land one more tackle, that'd be great. There we go, nice. And it faints it awesome. Okay, ah woo. Thanks for the 1,320 pocket dollars. Let's use a full heal on a uh, boot root. Not grumpy, dang it, it won't have any effect, I know that. Jeez, let's use on Brute Root. Okay, health return, good. I'm gonna switch uh, full heal with, um, Vive, and then, uh, wait, no. Seal, super, super repel with Revive, super repel with Repel. There we go. That works. Okay, so, uh, Lavender is level 37 still, okay. Well, let's keep Lavender in front. Let's use a potion on Lavender. That's good, okay. Might want to use two, actually. That's good, nice. Okay, if I remember the puzzle correctly, I'll just make my way around here. Step right there. Our invisible walls have you frustrated? Not really, I know this puzzle. I, mem I should remember this puzzle fairly well. Okay, so this is Tamer, okay, cool. He's a sand slash, nice. For the, um, what's how much would double kick do? Okay, not that much. Okay, it's gonna send the attack on us, of course it is. So Thrash might miss the next turn, but it hits still good. Oh, and it missed though, dang it, of course. I thought if it did a battle animation, it would've, uh, you know, uh, hit, but there we go, Thrashing about, nice. It's gonna send the attack again. And it missed, of course. You gotta keep on using send the attack, apparently. Missed again. Shoot! A stupid sand slash. Okay, we're gonna switch to Grumpy. We could have also switched to Brute Root, but still. Let's get a sand attack on Grumpy, of course it is. Let's go for the Body Slam. Doesn't quite faint it, that's kinda stinks. Not the little kick, I meant to go for Seismic Toss, but hopefully this faints it. Awesome, nice. Sorry, Bok. Okay, we'll stay in for Grumpy. 
It's gonna be. Nice, okay, let's go for the um, body slam. It missed. Body slam hit that time, nice. Okay, my headphones are acting up, jeez. Okay, my headphones just kept on acting up there. Jeez, okay, so now Grumpy is level 38, cool. We defeated Tamer, nice. Whoa, he's got it, thanks. Thanks for the 1360 Poké Dollars. Okay, who's... Okay, I have Grumpy up front. Grumpy is level 38 now. So we'll switch with that brute root, I guess. Yeah, we'll keep a lavender front. Okay, Master Koga comes from a long line of ninjas. What did you descend from? Well, uh, I don't know, because my dad's not in the game, so I don't really know. My mom's in the game, though. Yeah, my headphones just keep on acting up as a crazy. Like, it cuts out with the sound. And I think I'm still recording sound from the game, which is good. I hope I am, but, uh, yeah, this is annoying. Uh, let's go for the, uh, let's go for the thrash, I guess. Let's faint this draws at level 34, hopefully. Let's get his vision, that's super effective, though. But we'll see what happens. And, of course, it takes out Lavender. Stupid drowsy, this is a poison-type gem, jeez. I'll we'll go to we'll go to brute root. Let's get a let's use Mega Drain on it to regain some health though. Oh man, it didn't faint it. Shoot. Okay, as long it used headbutt, so that's not as bad as a uh, confusion actually. Let's finish it with a tackle attack, hopefully. There we go, nice. Joker's about to use hypno, okay. We'll stay in I guess, even though it's risky. I like a good risk. This hypno is level 34. Let's use raise relief on this thing. Raise leaf hits, that's awesome. Let's see how much this does. Does about half, because critical hit, nice. Okay, we'll use the raise leaf again, hopefully another critical hit will happen. Because, you know, raise leaf has a high critical hit ratio. There we go, nice. But if you're a juggler, nice. Drop my balls. <laughs> okay, that's a... Uh, uh, out of context, that could be really weird. Okay, thanks for the 1,109 Poké Dollars. So I think that's, uh, we have one more Pokémon trainer. Of course we do. Of course we do. Please do not have any psyched up Pokémon. I think that's a battle at the beginning of the gym. So like, I think that's it, because Koga's right there in the middle right there. Right, this guy right here. But uh, I'll go back to the beginning of the gym and hopefully we can run into him. It's just a battle real quick. Cause I want to battle all the trainers in this gym. I think this is the last trainer anyway, so yeah. Oh, let me see how, how you beat my special, how you can beat my special techniques. Okay, I don't care, let's just battle, okay? Let's just battle. That's another juggler, of course. We're gonna have a psychic type Pokemon. Yep, Drowsy, okay. It's fine, I guess. Let's use Razor Leaf on this thing. That'd be nice. Let's just use Razor Leaf on the, oh no, Brewer to attack Mist. Dang it, Poison Gas, it didn't affect Brewer, good. Razor Leaf, okay. It hit that time, nice. So let's see what this does. It'll do a little of half, that's good. Let's get confusion on us, of course it is. Yeah, okay. Let's use Mega Drain to re regain some HP, I guess. Hopefully finish it off. It does, awesome. Kadabra, okay. Let's hope we can get like a big critical hit or something, you know, that'd be nice with the Raise Leaf. It does recover, but it failed because its HP is full, okay. That's interesting, it's level 34. There we go, let's get another Razor Leaf on this thing. Let's get a side beam on this, it's gonna hurt. Oh man, that might take out Boot Root. Yes, of course it does, it's critical. Dang it, fine. Let's get a... Let's get a Tabasco then. Let's go finish it with a Slash Attack. There we go, critically awesome. Nice. We you feed Jiggler. You had me fooled. Sorry, man. Thanks for 1,390 Poké Dollars, I think is what it said. I'm gonna go back and heal real quick. Okay, so let's go through this puzzle one more time. 
So, uh, I'm gonna keep, uh, let's have a game up front, I guess. Yeah. Cool. But yeah, I think it's pretty straightforward. You just like gonna hug, hug, hug the walls, and you should be fine. And if I were to leave green, there's like little white spots in the floor to, to tell you like where the floor is. But in Generation 1, you had to kind of just find it yourself, I guess. Let's talk to Koga. Okay. Fwaha. You mere child. You, uh, a mere child likes you, like you dares to challenge me. Very well. I shall show you the true terror of a ninja. As a ninja master, you shall feel the spirit of poison and sleep techniques. Okay, that rhymed. Cool. Let's battle, Koga. Nice. Koga wants to fight. Awesome. He does want to fight. Venona. Okay. So yeah, this is really good if you have like a flying type Pokemon or a fire type Pokemon, I guess. So uh, let's rearrange some of these moves. Um, let's go for the Surf, I guess. This Venona's level 44. Jeez. I didn't see how many Pokemon he had, really, so that kind of stinks. So yeah, Surf does a little half sweet powder. No. Good thing I have the poke food though, haha. <laughs> I meant to I meant to use my poke food, dang it, I cooked too fast. Let's get psychic now, jeez. Dang it. Ah, I wasted a turn basically. Fine. We'll use a poke food, of course. Cause we can. Da 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 da. Let's get sleep powder again, of course it is. Yeah, we keep on using the poke food then. I like the music for the Poke Flute. Hopefully one more Surf should take it out. So let's use one more Surf. Burning Nuts, I think Bug and Psychic or something. I don't even remember really. I'm not even sure. <laughs> Burning Nuts. Okay, we'll switch to, um, we'll switch to Basco, I guess. This one's level 46. Jeez. I think he had like three Pokemon or four Pokemon. I didn't really see both. Well. Let's use our new move Fly finally in battle. We haven't even used outside battle yet. Attack miss, fly hits, awesome. So this will uh, put it down in the reds, okay. It's gonna use toxic on us, but it didn't affect the basket, good. Let's finish it with an ember. Good thing it didn't heal there, that's awesome. Super effective, nice. And there's Venonet again, okay, so he has four Pokemon. He probably has, he probably has two Venonet and uh, a Venomoth, probably. Um, and yeah, one's level 46, one's level 44, one Venomoth's level 44, one's level 46, and one's level 48. As you see through this battle, you can see that. This Venomoth, his, Ven his Venomoth is probably like level 50, honestly. So you can use a double edge, okay. It might faint itself if it is too much damage. Almost. Let's go for the scratch deck. I'll finish it off. There we go, nice. And a Venomoth, okay, cool. So yeah, been must level 50, jeez. Let's go for the fly. It's gonna use double team to raise its invasion. Yes, of course it is. It's been a must evade rose. Okay. Toxic, okay. Did affect the basket. Good. Fly misses though. Let's try it again. It's gonna use psychic on us, of course. Of course it is. So I know it's gonna be a tough cookie to crack, you know? <laughs> Toxic, didn't affect the basket. Good. Fly hits that time, awesome. Hit. One more fly should do it. It's gonna use like attack on Ven Venomoth. That's good for you, I guess. But yeah, it's gonna fly up in there again. It's gonna psychic, but it missed. And fly doesn't hit that time. Dang it. Of course it doesn't, because double team. It's gonna keep on using double team, which kind of stinks. I'm gonna keep on using fly then. It's my strategy. <laughs> it should take it out. It does. Awesome. So yeah, nice. See, we defeated Koga, we defeated Koga. Humph, so you have proven your worth. Here, take the soul badge. We got 40,950 Poké Dollars. Awesome, for winning. Now that you have the soul badge, you can, the defense of your Pokémon uh, increases. It really does it do that, really? Or does it do it by leveling up and increasing its defense stat, really? It also lets you surf outside of battle. That's awesome. I'll take this, too. It's TM06, which I think is toxic. It'll badly poison a Pokémon. Yeah, it contains toxic. It is a secret technique over 400 years old. Nice. But I'll put that on my PC, actually. Is there anything else I want to put on my PC? Um, let me just see real quick. I don't think there is. Yeah, I could put that on my PC. I'll put TMO6 in the PC. So let's make our way out of here. We want to talk to the Vice Giver and check the statue again so it's our name. So our name's on there and whatnot. 
So let's check the vice giver. Um, it's amazing how ninja uh, can be can terrify even now. Wait, what? It's amazing how ninja can terrify even now. That doesn't really make sense, honestly. At least to me, it didn't sound right. Uh, Fusion City Pokemon Gym Leader Koga Winning Trainer Sean Steven. Cool. And I'll show off the Soul Badge, I guess. So it's the one right there. It's shaped like a heart, actually. Cool. So it's number five. We got five gym badges now. Awesome. So our name is Steven, of course. Our money, money is 92,130 Poké Dollars. Time is 47 hours and 57 minutes. Awesome. So you got five gym badges. We only have three more to go. So yeah, I'm going to go heal up my Pokemon and, uh, put TMO6 toxic in my PC so I'll be right back you guys. Okay with that um we can surf around and go to Cinnabar Island or the Seafone Islands or we can go back to Saffron City and take on the Silphco. Let's go back to Saffron City and take on the Silphco. Cause Demark is still there. So let's use Fly. So uh here's Pallet Town, here's Viridian City, here's Peter City, here's Zulian City, here's Lavender Town, here's Vermillion City, here's Saladon City, here's Fisher City, here's Saffron City. We're going back to Saffron City. And I just pressed up on the D-pad to go from place to place. So yeah, we're in, uh, we're in Fusa City right now, but we're gonna go to Fusa, uh, Saffron City. So yeah. So we're gonna fly back there, ha ha ha. Nice. Team Rocket's still here, yeah, see that guy? He's, they're still block, uh, Team Rocket Grunt's still blocking the Saffron City GM too. So that kinda stinks. Um, do I wanna do any off-camera training? Uh, maybe. Cause that Venomoth was level 50, it was 12 levels higher than my highest level Pokemon. Um, I'll switch Gamera and, uh, uh Boot Red, I guess. So, uh, I guess I'll train all my Pokemon up to level... Level 44, I guess. And by the next time I see them, they'll be level 44. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, so level 44 should be good. Cause, uh, they're kinda underleveled, I guess. So yeah, so yeah, here's the self code again. So in the next part, yeah, uh, we'll do just that. So let's spend on my Pokemon Leaf Green, and now Pokemon, dang it, my Pokemon Yellow Walk the Guy part. Next part, we'll take on self code. Uh, when next time you see my Pokemon, they'll all be level 44. So yeah, we got some training to do actually. <laughs> so yeah, this has been Janko again. I would like to thank you goodbye, and up to see you guys next part. My Pokemon Yellow Walk the Guide.